When you launch the Revit application from your desktop, this is the screen that you'll be presented with. Um, you can think of it as the launch screen. Um, Autodesk call it Revit Home. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the, the, the various aspects here. So this will look different, obviously. Um, these are recent files, so um, if it's the first time you, you're using Revit, uh, you won't have much in there. And depending, obviously, on what, what projects or models you've uh, previously accessed, you'll have different uh, file links and, and icons. So in the top corner, we've got the application button, uh, so R for Revit. Uh, not much on there. You can basically just uh, minimize or restore the whole application window. Uh, used to have a lot of options in there a few years ago, but they've been moved elsewhere. Uh, this button will toggle you between uh, the, the main um, application with its menus and any projects that you've got open and back to this Revit home screen. So if I click that there, you can see there's a project open at the moment. Um, if you didn't have any projects open, this would just be blank, but you would still see the, the basic menu system uh, at the top there. So again, I can click that just to toggle back to the, the home screen. So uh, working our way down on the left-hand side, um, we've got models. Again, a few years ago, this used, they used to be called projects, but Autodesk have renamed them to models now. So we can click here to bring up a, a standard file explorer. Uh, we can navigate and find any previous uh, model files that you've saved or you can click here to start a new one. So if I click on that, uh, new project. Now at the top of this box we've got something called template file. Um, so I'll just click on that now. At the moment I just have my own uh, Bimscape template file listed, one that I've created. I basically took the Autodesk out of the box one uh, and just sort of edited it and, and adapted it for my own use. And I've aimed the application at this particular template. You might have um, the standard architectural template, construction template, etc. Um, if you're just using sort of um, Revit out of the box, or you can browse and find additional templates. So the default here is to create a new project, uh, but we can also create a project template, which is one of these template files if we need to do so. So just pop that back for now. So that creates us a new project or new model. Um, families, again, we can open uh, existing family files or we can create new ones. Now families um, are, are, are the building blocks of Revit. These would be the components. So for example, it could be a, a chair or a table or a lamppost, a light fitting, etc. door, window, uh, any of the, the components or blocks that you can download off the internet, uh, but you can create your own straight within the application. So I'll just show you uh, when you click that, you will be asked to pick a template file um, on which to start your, your new Revit family. And all these template files come with the application or are available for free with the application. Um, you do need to download these separately now um, in addition to the main uh, Revit application. So you just go to um, to grab new Autodesk content. And I've got a separate video on, on how to do that and where to find the, uh, the right menu option to download these. But these are free um, and they are necessary because you can't create a family without um, picking one of these basic family templates to get you started. Just pop that away for now. Um, as we, we start at the beginning of this video, we mentioned that these are the recent files. So again, split into two groups to match here are the models of the families. So we've got models here. Um, obviously you get a nice little thumbnail to help you identify your project uh, with the file name and scrolling down any families that you've been working on. Uh, moving back to the left hand side, uh, that takes us back to recent files, brings this up here. Now if you do have a BIM 360 account with Autodesk, Clicking on this here will open the sort of browser for all your BIM 360 projects. And lastly, at the bottom on the left-hand side, there are just some hyperlinks. So what's new will take you to the new features added in whatever version of Revit you're currently using. 
uh, online help system so this just fires up your web browser everything sort of online now at Autodesk and again to that will take you to the community forum where you can sort of ask any questions you need to uh, just working away along the top um, got your Autodesk account there um, you can get account details you can manage your license for the program uh, and you can sign sign out and quit the application um, and again you've got a little drop down back to that help menu what's new the same as the the hot links we just looked at over on the left um, some videos to get you started should you want to look at the the Autodesk ones there that Revit community which is the forums um, links to any uh, sort of additional resources um, and that's it in a standard sort of about page for the for the uh, current version of the application so that is a quick overview of Revit home or the the launch screen um, so from here again you would just simply uh, pick a recent model you've been working on uh, use the file explorer there to go and find or navigate to a, a project that's not shown in the recent files start a new one or you can do the same with a, a Revit family either open an existing one or create a new one using one of the templates listed 